What are the benefits of virtualization? Virtualization is a creation of virtual machines and manage them from one place. It allow the resource to be shared with large number of network resources. Virtualization is a having a lot of benefits and they are as follows. First, it's help in saving a lot of cost and allow to easily maintain it in less cost. Second, it's allow multiple operating system on one virtualization platform. Third, it's removes the dependency of heavy hardware to run the applications. Fourth, it's provide consolidating servers that are used for crushing of the server purpose. Fifth, it's reduce the amount of space being taken by data center or company data. What is system requirements for ESXi? To install or upgrade ESX 6.0, your hardware and system resource must, must be meet the following requirements. First, ESX 6.0 required a host machine with at least two CPU cores. Second, ESX 6.0 support 64-bit 86 processor released after September 2006. This includes a broad range of multi-core processor. Third, ESX 6.0 required the NX XD bit to be enabled for the CPU in the BIOS. ESXi required a, a minimum of 4 GB physical RAM. It's recommended to provide at least 8 GB of RAM to run virtual machine in typical production environment. Fifth, to support 64-bit virtual machine, support for hardware virtualization, Intel VTX or AMD RVI must be enabled on x64 CPUs. Six, one or more gigabyte of faster Ethernet controller for a list of supported network adapter models. Seven, SCSI disk or a local non-network red loan with unpartitioned space for the virtual machine. Eight, for serial SATA, ATA, a disk connected through supported SAS controllers or supported on a board as SATA controllers. Explain what is hypervisor. Hypervisor is a program that enables multiple operating systems to share a single hardware host. Each operating system has the host processor, memory, and other resources. All to itself, hypervisor controls the resource and host processor. Allocating what is required for each operating system is done and makes sure that the guest operating system cannot be disturb each other. What is the use of VMware tools? VMware tool is a suite of utility that enhances the performance of the virtual machine's guest operating system and improves management of virtual machines. Without VMware tool installed in your guest operating system, guest performance lack important functionalities. Installing VMware tool el eliminated or improved these issues. Low video resolutions, inadequate color depth, Incorrect display or network speed, restricted movement of the mouse, inability to copy and paste and drag and drop files, missing sound, provide the ability to take quick snapshot of the guest OS. Synchronize the time in the guest operating system with the time on the host. Provide support for the guest bound calls created with VMware VIX API. Hey, what are the different type of virtualization? Server virtualization, consolidating multiple physical server in virtual server that run on a single physical server. Application virtualization, an application run on another host from where it is installed in a variety of way. It could be done by application streaming, desktop virtualization or VDI or a VM package like VMware ACE create with a player. Microsoft Software is an example of application virtualization. Presentation virtualization, this is what Citrix Mid Frame and the ICA protocol as well as Microsoft Terminal Server and RDP are able to create with presentation virtualization and uh, an application actually run on another host and all that you see on the client is screen from where it is run. Network virtualization. With network virtualization, the network is curved up and can be used for multiple purposes such as running a protocol analyzer inside on Ethernet switch. Component of a virtual network could include NICs, switches, VLANs, network storage, 
device, virtual network container and network media. Storage virtualization. With storage virtualization, the disk data storage for your data is consolidated to and managed by virtual storage system. The server connected to the storage system are not aware of where the data really is. Storage version is sometimes described as a abstracting the logical storage from physical storage. Hey, what? Explain what is VMware DRS? VMware DRS stands for Distributed Resource Scheduler. It's dynamically balanced resource across various hosts under cluster or resource pool. It's enable user to determine the rules and policies with decide how virtual machine deploy resources and these resources should be prioritized to multiple virtual machines what is the difference between type 1 and type 2 hypervisor type 1 hypervisor this is also known as bare metal or embedded or a native hypervisor it's work directly on a hardware of a host and can monitor operating system that run above the hypervisor it is completely independent from the operating system. The hypervisor is small as its main task is sharing and mana managing hardware resources between different operating systems. A major advantage is that any problem is one virtual machine or guest operating system do not affect the other guest operating systems running on the hypervisor. Example, VMware ESX i server, Microsoft Hyper-V and Citrix Zen server. Secondly, Type 2 hypervisor. This is also known as a hosted hypervisor. In this case, the hypervisor is installed on operating system and then support other operating system above it. It is completely dependent on host operating system for its operations. While having a base operating system allow better specification or policy, any problem in base operating system is affect the entire system as well even if the hypervisor running ever or the base os is secure example vmware workstation microsoft virtual pc and oracle box what is storage vmotion storage vmotion is smaller to vm vmotion in the sense that something really related to vm is move and there is no downtime to the vm guest and end user whoever with SV motion the VM guests stay on server that is reside on but the virtual disk for the VM is what move with storage vmotion you can migrate a virtual machine and its disk file from one data store to another with virtual machine is running you can choose to place a virtual machine and all its disk is single location or select separate location for the virtual machine configuration file and each virtual disk during a migration with storage vmotion you can transfer virtual disk from thick, provi thick provisional lazy zero or thick provisional azure zero to thin provisional or a reserve perform live migration of virtual machine disk file across any fiber channel SCSI, efico and nfs storage what is vmware fault tolerance VMware fault tolerance provides continuous availability to application running in a virtual machine. Pro preventing downtime and data loss in event of service failure. VMware fault tolerance when enabled for a virtual machine create a live shadow instance of the primary running on another physical server. The two instances are kept in virtual lock step with other using VMware VLookSpread technology. The two virtual machines play the exact same set of events because they get the exact set same of input at any given time. The two virtual machines continuously hardware against each other and if either virtual machine instance losses hard, losses the hardware, the others take over immediately. The hardware are very frequently with milliseconds in trouble making the failover instant with no loss of data or state vmware fault tolerance required dedicated network connection separate from vmware vmotion network between the two physical servers hey what is the difference between thick provisioning and lazy zeroed thick provisioning azure zeroed and thin provisioning 
thick provision layer 0. Create a virtual disk in a different thick format. Space required for a virtual disk is allocated when the virtual disk is created. Data remaining on the physical dev device is not erased during creation but it's zeroed out of damage at a later time on the first write from the virtual machine. Using the, using the different flat virtual disk format does not zero out of eliminate the possibility of recovering deleted, deleted files or restoring old data that might be present on this allocated space. You cannot convert a flat disk to a thin disk. Thick provisioning edge at zero. A type of thick virtual disk that support clustering features such as fault tolerance space required for the virtual disk is allocated at creation time. In contrast to the first in contrast to the flat format, the data remaining on the physical de device is zeroed out when the virtual disk is created. It might take much longer to create disk in format than to go create other type of disk. Thin provisioning. It's provided on demand allocation of block of data. All the space allocated at the time of creation of virtual machine disk is not utilized on the hard drive. Rather, uh, only the size with utilized data is locked. The size increase as the amount of data is increased on the disk. With, the, with thin provisioning, storage capability utilization efficiency can be automatically drive up to avoid 100% with very little administrative overhead. What is the difference between clone and template in VMware? VMware clone. A clone is a copy of virtual machine. You cannot convert back the clone virtual machine. A clone of a virtual machine cannot be created when the virtual machine is powered on. Cloning can be done in two ways. Normally, full clone and link clone. A full clone is an depending copy of virtual machine that share nothing with the parent virtual machine after the, clo after the cloning operation. Ongoing operation of full clone is entirely separate from the parent virtual machine. A link clone is a copy of virtual machine that share virtual disk with the parent virtual machine in a ongoing manner. The conserved disk space are and allow multiple virtual machine to use the same software installation. Clone, cloning a virtual machine can save time if you if you are if you are de deploying many similar virtual machines, you can create, configure and install software on a single virtual machine and then clone it multiple times rather than create and configuring each virtual machine individually. Template A template is a master copy of baseline image of a virtual machine that can be used to create many clones. Templates cannot be powered on or edited and more difficult to alter than ordinary virtual machine. You can convert the template back to virtual machine to update the base multiple base template with the latest release patch and up update and to install or upgrade any software and again convert back to template to be used for future deployment of a virtual machine with the latest patch. Converted virtual machine to template cannot be performed. When virtual machine is powered on, only clone to template can be performed. When the virtual machine is powered on, a template offer a more secure way of per perceiving a virtual machine configuration that you want to deploy many times. When you clone a virtual machine or deploy a virtual machine from a template, the resulting clone clone Virtual machine is independent of an organizational virtual machine or template. Hey, what is VMware HA? VMware HA that is high ability which work on the host level and is configured on the cluster. A cluster configured with the HA will migrate and restart all the VMs running under any of the host in case of any host level failure automatically to another host under the same cluster. VMware HA continuously monitor all ESX server hosts in a cluster and detect failures. VMware HA 
agent place on each host machines a heartbeat with the other host in the cluster using the service console network each server send a heartbeat to the other servers in the cluster at 5 second interval if any server lose heartbeat over 3 consecutive heartbeat interval VMware HA initiates the failover action of restarting all affected virtual machine on other host you can set virtual machine restart priority in case of any host failure depending upon the cluster nature of the vms